long before St. Peter came to Rome to establish the church and to be martyred here, he established the church in Antioch. And what's interesting is this Roman Colosseum didn't exist when Peter lived here or was martyred in 67. It would be another 20 or more years or so before the Colosseum would be built and maybe even into the 100s before it was finished. But what is interesting is this could be the place where St. Ignatius of Antioch was martyred. Ignatius was the successor to Peter in Antioch, and he was brought here by Roman guard to be eaten by lions. So was he eaten here in the Colosseum or over at the Circus Maximus? Well, let's go find out. This is what's left of the Circus Maximus. It's hard to believe, but the chariot races happened right here. Now, today, it's nothing more than a park in Rome. And people come and hang out here and they play here and they ride their bikes here and walk their dogs here. This could also be the location that St. Ignatius of Antioch was martyred for the faith in 110 AD, having been brought to Rome by 10 leopards. He called them leopards. They were Roman soldiers. He faced off with Trajan in a famous duel of faith and intellect, and he was brought heroically to his death in this city. Did it happen at the Roman Colosseum? Did it happen here? It's hard to tell because it's debatable as to when the Roman Colosseum was finally completed. It's potentially possible that this could be it. What is most fascinating is Ignatius of Antioch was the third successor of St. Peter in the Diocese of Antioch. Peter would establish that church and then come here in the 40s and establish the church here. And the two of them would enjoy martyrdom in the same city. May they pray and intercede. Did you like that clip? Want to watch more? Just click right here. Or you can watch the entire film right now by clicking here. Share it with a friend. We would be grateful. God bless you and God love you.